Cancer, welcome back. Let's flip some cards for you, see where your energy is at. I pulled two oracle cards for you prior. Trust and express your love came up, and I also did pull your overall energy. If you did land here, please give a thumbs up to help promote the channel. All right, your overall energy is really quite interesting. So let's take a look at that. Five of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. I mean, this is some movement. The Five of Wands can speak of conflict, but I'm not feeling that for you. I really am not. Um, it can be fighting for control in a situation. It can be something... I'm, I'm feeling more that this is searching for a new object, um, overcoming competition, you know, finding a new love, something that's going to inspire you. I got a heavy feeling of Leo prior to drawing your cards, and I can't get Leo out of my head, so keep that in mind. The Six of Wands, I feel like you're going to be very successful moving forward. This is a very successful combination here. The Queen of Cups is offering emotion, so it seems like you're, you're going to get good news. You're moving forward. You're wanting some affection. You're going to get this affection. So we're going to pull more cards and see what comes up here. There's definitely uh, some support in accepting something emotionally coming up. So I'm going to move these up here and we are going to start shuffling for you. Let's just start general. So our spirit guides, what is coming Cancer's way? Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. For Cancer. Cancer. All right. Coming your direction. Okay. So the chariot. Look at that. Sweet. Your card automatically. Things that are coming up for you is going to be passion. It's going to be lust. It's going to be movement forward. The chariot is an absolutely fantastic card to get for your current energy and where you are, what's coming your direction. It's ambition. All right. You're, you're so very much, it's good news, it's success, it can be meeting somebody on a trip, it is movement, it can be a drive somewhere. The king of wands is very bold, convincing, it seems like you, as far as your passions and concerns, you're, you're starting to feel more sure of yourself. Nice. All right. What is the person... Or situation the cancer is thinking about. What is the energy of the person or situation the cancer is thinking about? Okay, thank you, source. One more, please. Okay. So, nice. The situation or person that you are thinking about. All right. Um, the seven of wands. Again, more fire. So, Aries, Leo, Sag. And the magician. They're, they're working on getting past a situation. I don't feel that this is work-related or general home-related just yet. Let's get clarification for the magician. Let's see what this is, what's being manifested. Okay, so the person or the situation, we have temperance. So Sagittarius, again, very, very heavy on the fire. Um, wanting to have the patience and healing, they're getting past something. It's like they're sticking up for themselves, but you never should have to feel like you're defending yourself in any situation because it is your life. Clarify the chariot, please, Source. Clarify the chariot for cancer. Let's clarify your energy moving forward very loudly. All right. You're single right now. You're feeling single. You're very independent. I don't necessarily feel that you want to stay that way. And let's see what, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, okay? So this is what you're not aware of yet. The Empress coming in is uh, abundance, it's unconditional love, it's faithful, happiness, messages, passion, okay? So let's see, this person or situation, what action might they take towards you? All right, action they might take towards you. The Six of Wands, again, separate deck. Six of Wands, again, triumph moving forward, wanting to be seen by you. Um, there is a change that they had gone through, 
but they're feeling triumphant, okay? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Also, that flipped out, so we're going to call this just general energy moving forward, is the fool. The fool is casual dating, it's a new start, but something that can lead into something bigger, a possible bigger connection, a possible relationship coming your direction. Again, with the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, I'm telling you, heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, also, I believe is Aries. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty gosh darn sure about that. Again, fire, the tower is a fire card. I believe it's Aries. Okay, so... What does Cancer need to know about this person or situation moving forward? What do you need to know? Oh, it could be somebody that you are already aware of. It can be a friendship. Um, it looks like they had recently gone through a loss. So there could be somebody holding back a little bit in the situation. What's blocking this? Can be return of somebody from your past, the Six of Cups, everybody, you know, nobody likes to admit that it can be a, a former lover or somebody coming up in your future. We hope for nice new things, but doesn't always happen that way. Okay, the High Priestess. Nice. So you're, you're thinking, you're working on manifesting something. You're working on moving forward. You are thinking in your head. You're... This can be secrets and mystery, but what you need to be aware of is to use your intuition. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that. It's a, a it can be a shy person. You can be shy. Let's clarify the high priestess. Why does Cancer need to know to use their intuition? Perhaps maybe be a little bit more outgoing. Stick yourself out there a little bit. Nice. Okay. Two of Cups, possible union. So it can be a water sign like you, all right, Cancer. It can be a Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to necessarily be. But there is movement forward. You just got to get out of your shell a little bit and be more of yourself. Get a little bit more accustomed to doing things because it's really showing that you're real quietly thinking about things, trying to get to know somebody. Nice. So I think the blockage that you have is that you, <laughs> you're you're holding back a little bit. And you're, you could be stuck in your head about past situations, but you're definitely thinking and moving forward. So very positive energy. Absolutely great. What's possible outcome? It's possible outcome. All right. All right. Possible outcome moving forward. Small movements. Baby steps. Okay. You're moving forward. Tiny, tiny, tiny. You're offering a little bit, kind of feeling out the waters. How far am I going to get if I just ask this person out? How far am I going to get if I just text them? How far will I get? How how reliable am I? So this, you know, it's new messages. It's just kind of feeling things out. It's offering just a little bit. Anything else, Source? Anything else for cancer? Oh, apparently... All right, let's see what flipped out. Okay, Emperor in reverse. Wow. <laughs> when you get the Emperor in well, when you get the Emperor period, it means that you could be meeting somebody new. Again, Emperor is the card of Aries, so heavy fire in your reading today. Um, make that offer. An Emperor is a four. It's showing stability. The Emperor is stable. He's responsible. He can be a permanent partner, a um, future with reliable. And again, if you're single, you will meet somebody soon. There's definitely a foundation here to build on. Nice. Anything else? Okay. Also flipping out. Let go of the heartbreak. Whatever you have that you, I mean, you're getting there. You're getting there. You're letting go of that. Keep letting go of that. Stop thinking about the past and things that you feel sorry for. You have nothing to feel sorry for about, okay, at all. Be yourself. All right, we are going to go through Aries through Pisces and see what your person could be thinking or feeling if they are specific. I don't feel that deck. Let's pick a different deck. not feeling it. So, Cancer, dealing with an Aries. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Moving forward. All right. The Aries, 
definitely can see even just hanging out with you the three of cups can be a relationship it can be a reunion but they do have positive feelings about you if you are dealing with a taurus nice cars nice energy they're letting go of some of the obsessive behavior if you are dealing with a gemini okay if you're dealing with a gemini they will be, there's, there's action, there's movement, there's um, fast action, actually. Again, fire. Um, Aries Leo Sag. If you know an Aries Leo Sag or you're interested in one, I say go for it because there's definitely the cards here for it. It's, it's strong, very, very strong. And with you being the king of wands here, your energy, you have more potential in you than you even realize. <laughs> go for it. This is texting, it's messaging, it's movement forward. You could be getting messages from somebody soon. If a Cancer is dealing with another Cancer. All right, to the floor it goes. Six of Cups. So they do think of you uh, as a friend or past lover or a interest of sorts. You could remind them of somebody, but it is still a positive uh, interest card. There's six cups there. You're not quite to the ten, but, you know, you're moving forward a little bit with that cancer. If you're dealing or thinking about a Leo, what are they thinking? Okay. They are moving forward. This is karma. They have something that's changed in their life recently. What stands out to me is this side the, the direction that they're moving here and the lion again so it can be a leo i know i keep saying the fire but i'm really feeling it strongly it's really calling out to me okay if you are dealing with a what are we on leo yeah, all right let's see what that leo because boy this leo is give me that give me that leo what's the leo thinking about that cancer okay we got two coming. You're going to freak on this one. What came out is their own damn card. Strength, passion, movement forward. <laughs> I mean, this is strong emotional ties. It can be holding back and having courage. But there's the Leo getting their Leo. There is such heavy fire in here. It's unbelievable. Okay, if you are dealing with a Virgo. All right. Thank you. We have the Ten of Cups. So they would be somebody that would see a long-term commitment. At least they're very stable. They have a stable foundation of beliefs. Okay. Um, this could be somebody that if you're moving that direction, they're positive. They, they're a family type. They're willing to settle down. They're willing to be emotional. All right. If you are dealing with a Libra. All right. For Libra, we got three. Okay. Queen of Swords, very stern, very direct. This person, um, they call it the widow card. She can not that there is gender in tarot. There's not. She's strong. She's witty. She's sharp. Okay. She wants truth. And with the Knight of Swords, this can be um, movement in towards them quite fast. So either you're hearing from them or you're going for them or vice versa, but you're going to hear a lot of truths. There's going to be good intellectual talking. Um, swords are air signs. So Libra, I'm getting really strong Gemini Aquarius and then the magician. So there's definitely something that could be manifested forward with this person. There's harmony it's a faithful agreement possibly in a new relationship or a current relationship that kind of needs to be worked on. Looks good. Okay, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio, please, source. Scorpio. Very nice. Oh, sweet. Scorpio also can have, so that's another water sign. Um, temperance is absolutely having faith. It's having faith. It's having patience it's an absolutely beautiful healing moderation um this would be a very cuddly type person with a good balance okay if you are dealing with a sagittarius sagittarius please or sagittarius sagittarius 
All right. They're not moving right now, okay? They're in a situation. Um, they're kind of feeling sorry for themselves, and they're not coming up front, and there isn't much communication with this person. I mean, if we turn both of these cards upside down, they'd be thinking and judging a situation. There wouldn't be any secrets here. But with it being this way, there's a lack of trust, possibly, especially with the moon card coming out. Things that aren't known, they might not be trusting you or they might not be trust a bull. Okay, if you are dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn, please, source. All right. The Capricorn is feeling tired, okay? They're feeling a bit stressed out. Um, it can be that they're very responsible and have a lot on their plate right now. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, all right, they're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So the Queen of Pentacles, when she is reversed, can be somebody that um, isn't honest. They can be, I, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, dwell too hard, but they can be a cheater. They aren't responsible. Um, it's not somebody, it can be an affair, it can be unfaithful, it can be gossip um, and home conflict. So maybe not so good on that. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces, please. All right, we got two for Pisces. Okay, the High Priestess. <laughs> the High Priestess reversed. So mm, confrontation and the Fool. The Fool can, again, you had the Fool before. Something new, a newer beginning with the high priestess in reverse. However, be careful. There could be some secrets that aren't known about this person or a misunderstanding. Okay. Cancer, you got some really excellent energy. Um, give a thumbs up. Help promote the channel. If you do not mind, I greatly appreciate it. This is the current energy that we have right now. And I'm saying moving forward, you got a fire sign, something hot and heavy coming in here. I'm not feeling a former. I'm feeling new. I'm feeling that you are coming into your power and strength. So whoever comes to this video today is in good fortunate luck. You were meant to see it. There's a reason for everything. Everything. If this is not your story and roles can be reversed, if it's not your story, come back in a few days. Check out another tarot reader. We draw... We, what we, we pull in from the universe, what we put out there. So there could be something in here that was meant for you or could lead you to another reading. That is the energy we have today for you. Thank you for your time and many blessings, Cancer.